Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Credit Matters TV. I'm here today with Gloria Lu, our Director of Corporate Ratings, to discuss China's fast transition into the world's largest carbon market and the impact on the corporate credit worthiness. Hello Gloria. How does China react to control its carbon emission by developing its own carbon trading system? As you know, uh, China is the world's largest carbon dioxide emitter after 30 years rapid economic growth. We think it, this is mainly due to th two major reasons. One is China's concentration in uh, energy-intensive industry to fuel growth. Number two is that China's reliance on coal as the primary energy source. Since June 2013, China has established uh, the carbon uh, emission trading system in seven regional markets as the pilot program, uh, mainly including four municipalities, Hubei province, Guangdong province, and Shenzhen city. This regional uh, ETS uh, market shares some common features. However, they are also different in, in, in the following uh, aspects. Number one is the type of the emission. Number two is the allocation methods of the allowance. Th uh, the third is the um, uh, different participants. And, and, and last is the, is the coverage scopes are different. Uh, we think one reason for this variety is because the different region has different levels of economic development and economic circumstances. Um, the Chinese government's goal is to establish a unified national carbon tra emission trading market with, within the next three years. We expect the upcoming 13th five-year uh, plan will outline more details of the implementation. So how have China's carbon emission trading system performed so far? Uh, China's carbon emission trading market is it's just only one year old, although it's growing very fast. So the available trading data indicates different regional market has demonstrated a uh, quite different uh, disparity in terms of the carbon price and price volatility. The participation of the cover corporates um, is quite inactive. Uh, the trading is mainly driven for the compliant purpose. And also, the market generates lack of transparency. Some derivative products, such as futures, are also very rare in the market so far. So over the long term, uh, we believe um, China's carbon market to become more transparent uh, and more products to be, to be offered and the participant to be more experienced. So in this process, China's carbon emission trading system, together with other the government re environment, environmental regulation measures, will contribute to China to meet its carbon emission targets. So what are the risks to the corporates that are covered by the uh, carbon emission trading systems? We think the ETS cover corporates uh, we have faced the following major risk. The number one risk is the fluctuation of the carbon price. Number two is the regulatory risk, which is due to the evolving regulatory framework. Number three is the business risk, which is due to losing the clients to other companies not covered by this, uh, this market. Number four is the financial risk, which is caused by the carbon liabilities and the cash outflow of the, of the companies covered by this trading system. We consider two key uh, factors uh, to mitigate the financial impact. One is the capacity of the companies to invest into the technology and the facilities to reduce the carbon emission. Number two um, is, the, uh, is the ability of the companies to pass through the carbon costs to, uh, to the end clients. Uh, under the current market mechanism in China, uh, we observe very um, a limited impact of the financial impact of the carbon emission trading um, uh, mechanism, uh, ma trading system on Chinese corporate so far. However, over the long term, in particular over the next three years, we believe such impact will become more significant following on the China's developing regulatory environment and also developing business environment. Thank you, Gloria. Thanks for watching. See you next time.